Hi everybody, this is Elizabeth with Live Simple, Live Free. And I'm doing something a little bit different today um, that I really wanted to show you guys. Um, my sister, who lives up in Maine, my sister Dana, um, actually is a sewing machine repairer person. Um, she loves quilting, she loves sewing, and now she has been uh, working in a shop now where they repair all sorts of different machines. And she impresses me because she also can handle very old antique machines and get them working again. So she came across this beautiful um, machine here and brought it to me. And I have it sitting in here in front of my window in my bedroom. Um, this is 140 years old. And um, this is a wonderful prepper thing because um, if I can really get good with it and everything, if I don't have electricity, it's a treadle machine. I can still sew. So let me open this up and show you uh, what we have here. There we go. I'll, I'll just open it that far. I, I could bring this out a little bit more and have it completely open, but for right now, this will be fine. Now, this beautiful leather belt here. Oh, I know what I need to do. She showed me just a second. There. I have to get that in place when I bring it up. There we go. Yeah. This leather belt runs it, and it's got a treadle. Now, this is more modern. These little things she gave me for my thread because it helps it spin more comfortably. So those are little red things are modern. But anyway, it's 140 years old. It's from a company called White. And um, it is it works beautifully. And um, so she fixed it, all, fixed it all up for me. And uh, I'll show you some of the process while she was here of getting everything all ready for me to go. But it does a beautiful job. Uh, I don't know if you can see down there. It might be kind of dark, um, but get excellent. Um, that's the treadle that you work with your feet. And um, so not only is it a lovely uh, piece of furniture, but um, what a wonderful thing to know that I can do real sewing, even if I didn't have electricity. So it's another really neat prepper thing that I can have. And I deeply appreciate her getting this for me and bringing it and, if you know, fixing it up for me. This is a beautiful 140-year-old, um, you know, doesn't need electricity sewing machine, you know, that you got the hand pump foot things. And a beautiful, treadle. a pedal machine. Oh, treadle. Treadle, yes, a treadle <laughs> machine that um, my sister brought me. Um, and she's here with her geniusness, getting it all working and repaired. And so how's, how is it all going? Well, we're getting there. I had to adjust the needle height on this thing because it used to use longer needles than what we have available these days. So I have to make sure that the needle is going to come down far enough to pick up the thread from the bottom. Cool. And okay. this is a really cool machine. And she'll show me how to use it and everything. So, oh, this is neat. Cat. Cat hair. Oh, that just doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Was it from here or from in the machine? From here. From here. Oh, yeah, it doesn't surprise me. My, my favorite thing is he loves to lay on my pillow and then I'll put chapstick on at night and crawl in bed and curl up under the covers and all the cat hair goes and sticks right to my chapstick. <laughs> so I just, you just take it off. I cuddle with him a lot, so. Already. Okay. This driving belt here um, is made out of leather and she just um, had a big long piece of the leather and then she bored a hole in it and put this special little clamp on and um, put it all together and made it the correct, um, you know, the correct, let me see if I can find that little spot where she put it together. I can feel a treadle going up and down by my feet. Well, anyway, somewhere along in here, she just fastened together with a metal brad that she had and bored a hole through anyway, and made it just the right length so that it'll run the machine. And also, as you'll see in the video, I run the bobbin. And I, I'll just I hook it around the bobbin, and then it, it'll get the bobbin filled. Now this this is a oh cool. So you just fixed this leather oops belt. I may not have gotten it tight enough. I thought I did. But you can always tighten it. Oops, is it? And it's it's going backwards right now. But. Oh, that's so cool. So she just fixed that leather belt and put the belt on it so that the treadle at the bottom will work. I 
wonder. Yeah, I, you know, you could wind the, see how the bobbin winds? It oh, goes wow. through that. You can have thread through there, and then you hook it around under this thing down here, and then put it on the bobbin, and the bobbin winds it back and forth because it's a long bobbin. Oh, that is so cool. That's how it winds the bobbin. Yep. And then apparently these, there's like these leather belts. She just Oops. cut a piece off and, and fit it and on there. And I'm probably going to have to make it tighter because look, it fell off. Oh, goodness. Everything's down properly in place. Now what? Ah. So the flat side of the needle goes to the inside when you're putting it in there. You just right. unscrew it, slip it in, and tighten it down. Right. Now let me see how this changes the... It might be something inside of that tension that's rough, but I hope not because I don't. Well. I would put it through here. I'm not sure if that's exactly what that's there for, but I, it will help. And through here. Okay. And there's a little hole in there. Bobbin. Okay. You put it through there. Put it through that thing. See that? And then this pulls open like this, and you wedge it in there. Like that, okay. see? Uh -huh. Okay. And then we're gonna put the belt so that it'll turn it. Okay, turn the belt, push the belt okay. onto it so that right. it'll turn so it. It'll turn it. And it, this, this wasn't this wasn't seated yet. Let's see if we can get seated. Okay, there it's seat, seated now. And okay. I'm gonna hold onto this this end. So Just that, like you do on a regular bobbin. Right, right. And we should be able to. Again, let's see if I can go forward here. Oh, piffle! I'm getting this all. Tangled up in there. Oh, it might be up here. It maybe it, might, it was a knot. Well, yeah, and, and it, it might just be. I'm sorry, if an inexpensive thread. It might be what the inexpensive thread. Oh, yeah, that can like break and shred and. Yeah, oh, I got this cotton here, so I gotta get it out. Well, we ran into some issues with it seeming to just keep getting, I don't know, the thread would break and it was acting really funny. And it dawned on Dana that maybe that was just not a good enough quality thread. Um, these older machines um, are a little bit less forgiving. And so I got out a, a better spool of thread. It happened to be black. But that finer quality of thread... Um, did perfectly well. So I think the other thread was just breaking too easily. It couldn't quite handle the old mechanical machine. But the new thread that I put on um, has worked great. Now that's working perfectly. Yeah, see the thread's not breaking. There may have been something just on the thread. And that can even affect the tension in many different ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the thing is, sometimes it's not a specific spot that's weak. It's um, a lump or bump in it that it gets catch. catch some, gets caught someplace. I'm not going to fill this all the way up, but I'm going to put okay, well, maybe about one more layer on. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool how that works? I just love those things. Yeah, this pretty cool. Okay, that's pretty neat. And then I'll show what it looks like when you take it, take it out. And that's what the bobbin looks like. Cool. It's a little skinny thing. And then the <laughs> bobbin goes in here. That's another thing you'll need to know. Okay. Um, let me clip off this end All if right, I can. You find can go it. ahead and get going on the move. Make sure you hold this end. Okay. Down this way and up that way. You see where it's going through that that yeah. thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, let's go through that thing. And then you have this set where you can see it, of course. You put the front end in first where that little notch is. Okay. And then you should be able to just put, then it'll just fall in like that, see? Okay. Okay, so we'll try sewing with black. Okay. This would be harder to see, but if this is a better thread, then. Right, and the, <clears throat> the cloth, the fabric, <laughs> the fabric is lighter, so. Lighter, lighter than what? Oh, lighter color. Lighter okay. color. Right. So it should show the black. Okay.
Another thing I wanted to show you that I think is pretty amazing. Um, this has uh, little drawers in it. There's three on each side. And, um, you know, just, it's, 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 like I said, it's 140 years old, but it's in beautiful condition. This is all of the little um, things that came with it. And um, just all sorts of different kind of little things that you can use with it. Dana honestly admitted to me that she's not totally sure what all of them do, but I'm sure there's different kinds of feet. Um, for its time, this was a very high quality uh, machine. So I have all these little antique um, things that went with it. And then this is very special. She found this in here. Um, this is the instruction book, and I'm, I'm not going to try to open it right now, but it has a picture of the sewing machine factory. It's very, very old. And this is like a little instruction book that some things that came with it. Um, and here's the rest of them. These are all the instructions for, you know, probably to be able to use a lot of those little things that are in the other metal box. But this is what is incredible. Now I'm going to take this and um, I'm going to flatten it very carefully and maybe try to put it in some kind of protective plastic sheet or something. But this was written by a husband and it was written in 1900 and he is writing to the white sewing machine factory saying that he and his wife have had this machine for 20 years. So that shows that he got it in um, 18, uh, 80, in 1880. And this is complimenting them on what a good machine it is and then asking them if they could do some, like, you know, fix it up, uh, condition it. I don't guess, just work it over a little bit. But this was the letter that he sent with the machine back to the factory to have it probably get a tune-up kind of a thing. But that was actually the letter written by her husband. And it says right here, um, oh, my gracious, it's amazing. Um, right there you can see, written 1229-1900. And so I'm going to try to see if I can very carefully flatten this out and put in a protective cover. I don't think I want to laminate it because that could, I don't know, it, that would be sort of permanent um, lamination, but I, I'll put it in a protective cover. But isn't that awesome that that letter was in with this machine? And see the little nifty places to put stuff? This is pretty cool. And it's got a real old locking attachment so that you could lock the drawers up. So, wow. This is even like a, a ruler all along the front here. And and the, the detailing of the, it's just absolutely beautiful. It's, it's so lovely. And it's, it's still, I mean, it doesn't smell mildewed or anything. It just has a lovely old wood smell. I'm so impressed. <laughs> So once uh, she got everything working, then she wanted me to give it a try. And I tell you, the learning curve for getting your feet to go smoothly was very interesting, but it was fun. And I think I could get used to getting my feet to go in very carefully. Um, you don't want to run it backwards. This machine doesn't do reverse. And so you don't want to have it, you know, running backwards. And you'll see that I'm struggling with that a little bit. But if you just get that rhythm going, it'll move forward really well. And then she also pointed out that for anybody sewing, you don't want to sew when there's thread in the machine and you don't have any fabric there for it to sew through. So, and she tickles me too because, um, you know, it's very important that you call it fabric or, um, what's another word that's okay? Um, material is kind of okay, fabric's the best. Calling it cloth, you know, for an avid quilter, she said that's like calling your garden dirt instead of soil. <laughs> it just tickles me. So I'm trying to be very careful not to say cloth. And you know, while she was here with me, she said it herself once. I got the biggest kick out of that because that was so unusual for her. <laughs> as long as you have your, um, your wheel going for, towards you, okay, then it doesn't really matter where you start. There you go. Oh, this is really cool. You just got to be sure that that, that, oh, yep, see, you start going backwards. <laughs> wow. It, if it didn't break that time, then you're really lucky. <laughs> Did it break? No, it oh, didn't. Good. Cool. Well, I got to get going again. You just got to be sure you give it a, a flip when you need yeah, to. Right. That, it's, it's yeah, that, and, it's and your that... feet are going to get the hang of it eventually. Right. 
and don't sew without the, the fabric. I okay, mean, okay, yeah, that was an accident. I, stop. Well, yeah, I know, but I mean, just yeah, just don't general, do it. Yeah, in general. So anybody else that's listening, don't don't sew. Don't use a sewing machine. Don't let it run if you've got the thread in it, but no fabric. Because you're going to just cause problems. So I didn't do anything, though. I mean, it didn't no, hurt anything, fine. and it's all... Fine. Now that, I got a good rhythm going, and that made a very lovely seam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the coolest thing. I'm going to yeah. try doubling it. Yeah, absolutely. But here, i got to get the needle up. And then, again, your feet are going to have to be the ones that learn. Right. And it's going to be a little harder for your feet to get through the thicker stuff, too. So just... Right, just be patient. Yeah. Um... So, this isn't as long of a needle because it's in. Um, I they don't make them that way anymore. But, so you had to lower. To get, it's harder to get the long needles now. Okay. Um, you can get them, but they're very hard to get, and you must be able to use regular. You can use regular sewing machine needles in this now because I adjusted the needle bar down. So now when I put it in, it, it'll it'll yeah. grab the the it, um, it grabs the, it grabs the, the um, bobbin. Thread. bobbin. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Come on, come on, let's get going. And see, it's a little harder on your feet when you run through thicker stuff, but you, it's still learning the rhythm. See? Ta-da! That made a just a beautiful, strong... Let me get the needle up. Oops. This, <laughs> it the doesn't want to stay up because the... The needle the comes up so yeah. much easier. There we go. Yeah. Well, yeah, it, it's because it's on that the belt. It'll, it'll, yeah. it'll fall to wherever the... the Belt. The, the gravity takes it to. Right. Okay, so. yeah, because it's just got this leather belt that's running it. Right. But look at this. Um, That was a beautiful, strong seam all the way down there. Yeah. I mean, this will actually do some good sewing. Well, people used to make... This was their sewing machine. This was their home sewing machine. Right. They made everything. I mean, they made their clothes and curtains. Curtains and, and everything what, they needed. Whatever you can think of. Yeah. This is a very cool machine. Okay. I'm going to get it ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that going to be enough to show? <laughs> all right. <laughs> so then, when I'm all done with it, I can just lift this up and I'll be real careful with my belt. Make sure I know where it's going. And it just closes. And it makes a lovely piece of furniture that fits in here really, really well. In fact, I've got my sewing basket, a little ironing thing, and my cord for sewing that I just, for right now, I'm putting right there. So, so not only um, is it wonderful to be able to sew with this beautiful old machine and without electricity, but it's a lovely piece of furniture. And I appreciate it very, very much. So, once again, dear sweet sister, thank you. You are amazing. And um, so, it's neat. It's just kind of one more thing where I can feel independent, but it's also something very unique for me to be able to have and, and use and teach my granddaughter how to use. How cool would that be? All righty. Well, listen, thanks for joining me about this today. And I uh, want you guys to be blessed and safe. And as always, live simple, live free. And I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.